Well, well, boys and girls, we have arrived. We made it. NFL Week 1. It's back. Oh my goodness. I am beyond excited that the NFL has come back. And now we get to rejoice for another season. And this year, remember, this year is a little bit different. Yeah, it's 18 weeks instead of 17. And you know why? The NFL got a little bit too money hungry. They got a little bit, they were like Mr. Krabs out there. You know, I need my money. And so they have added a 17th game to the schedule. Which again, I've made, you know, I think I've made a video about this already. I don't want 17. The ultimate goal was always 18. It's been like that with me for a while. You know, because, I mean, you see the CFL. I mean, those guys don't get paid nothing. They get paid, like, a fourth of what the NFL gets in TV deals. And they still play 18 games. But that's not even counting, you know, a couple preseason games. Because preseason, you know, just... It, it, it also is a thing in Canadian football and then you know for grounds of playoffs so yeah yeah we could have had 18 games but instead the NFL Players Association you know completely bended forward and just took it just took whatever the NFL could give them you know and it was false promises too you know the NFL you know was like we won 18 games. The Players Association said something completely stupid, and now we're stuck at this weird, you know, weird, you know, 17 game thing. But that that doesn't matter right now. What about opening night, baby? Opening night, my Dallas Cowboys. Yes, my Dallas Cowboys. As you all know, I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. And guess who's coming back? Oh, Dak, Dak, attack! Zeke is back. Oh boy. If you don't know the whole meme with the uh, the chiseled Adonis with, with the SpongeBob meme, oh yes, oh yes, the boys, the boys are heading down to Tampa. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little scared, Tommy. I don't remember that guy by the name of Tom Brady who just got his seventh Super Bowl ring. He he and the Bucks, he brought everybody back. Everybody, everybody from that team, you know, that started last year. They're all back. I don't know how this is going to go because the Bucks defense last year was scary. And the Bucks offense, boy that Bucks offense can play. Um, it's not it's not all the time that they can they can roll out, but you know, when they do be throwing it up and you know that you know that Brady action hits different. It hits different from the Mahomes action. It's a little it's a little different breed of football with Tom Brady. So you know, the Bucks you know there, there's really not a, there's really not a lot, you know, really to say about this game in all honesty. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean I do have some notes here. Because, uh, I mean, there, I mean there, there's just been so much drama since last year. I mean, there's been so much drama since we last, you know, discussed things in February. It was like the whole Aaron Rodgers situation. You know, what in the world, you know, was happening in the, um, in the, um, in the Saints camp after, you know, Drew Brees was basically, you know, gone, retired. And, you know, again, I, I'm just wondering how, how will Dak Prescott hold up? That's really the main thing. You know, for me, for this, for, let, let's go back to this game real quick. Um, for this game specifically, you know, how will Dak hold up? I heard that he's got a shoulder injury, and shoulder injuries do not bode well for Dallas Cowboy quarterbacks. Hint, hint, Tony Romo. Um, so, get that shoulder, you know, nice and ready, Dak, and hopefully y'all can get this team back on track. This Cowboys team has a lot. That, that needs to be addressed and that got addressed. There were some things that got addressed in the offseason, I think, but there were still were some things, again, that just did not get addressed at all. Um, and, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I mean, the boys just have to make it interesting against these Buccaneers. They have to make it interesting. All right. Let's go to Sunday. Let's go to Sunday. Um. I'm actually reading an article. I'm not, 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 I'm not. I don't have any notes. I'm sorry. Um, but yes, yeah, Sunday. Urban Meyer. 
at those Jacksonville Jaguars. What is Urban Meyer doing in the NFL? What is he doing here? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, it looks like he's trotting out Trevor Lawrence, which could be disastrous. I'm talking... Man, how far did Duval fall? Like, weren't, wasn't this team a playoff team a couple years ago? I mean, look at how far they fall off to the point where they have Trevor Lawrence as the number one pick. And I'm still surprised. Like, man, just you think, if the if the Jags didn't win week one last year, they would have went 0-16. They would have been the last 0-16 team. I guarantee you that. We were that bad. We were all talking about the Jets. The Jags were even worse. They were even worse. And the Texans are on a free fall themselves into mediocrity once again because of the whole Des Deshaun Watson situation. Yeah, y'all remember that. You know, the the presumed sexual assault. Yeah. Not a good look for Deshaun Watson. Now Tyrod Taylor is being trotted out there as the um, presumptive starter. And, you know, Tyrod really doesn't move the needle for anybody. And I don't think I'm going to watch this game at all. You already know. Y'all probably already know this. Um... But yeah, it's going to be interesting either way to see these two teams play. Um, you know, how will Trevor Lawrence fare in his first game? How will a lot of these guys, because the Jags got some injuries and stuff like that. So how will a lot of these guys fare? You know, and I mean, there's injuries all over the place due to, you know, due to workouts and preseason training and then the preseason as well. So I, will, I wonder how things will work out. How about those charges? This charges with Justin Herbert. Oh man, and, and the and the reigning NFC East champions, the Washington Football Team. All football teams and so much nonsense over the past few years. It hasn't even it hasn't even scratched the surface. I mean, I I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just I'm just looking, just looking to see. You know, how would Justin Herbert do with the new head coach? He's got a new head coach in Brandon Staley. Of course, you know, Washington, Washington's, I think Washington's got a lot of new pieces as well, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really looked at everything yet because, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm just making this as a preview and a prediction right now. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, uh, Washington might, you know, might be looking for some something good, something real good this year, and I don't know what they're going to do this year, you know, the football team. The Chargers, the Chargers, I'm wondering, you know, what kind of damage can they do? Because, I mean, the AFC is still, you know, it still has the Chiefs at the top right now. And I'll talk about the Chiefs in a minute. still has the Chiefs at the top right now, but everybody else is scrambling towards the top to fight the Chiefs, you know. So, I wonder, you know, again, I wonder how the Chargers will do. Um, Seattle and Indianapolis, well... Thought it was gonna be. I thought I was actually gonna watch this game, but it turns out I probably won't do that now. Um, it looks like Jacob Eason will be starting for the Colts because Carson Wentz is out with a foot injury, and I mean it's just been disastrous for this man. I mean I don't I don't know what in the world has happened to Carson Wentz. He, he, like he was doing good too, and he just fell off a cliff so fast as well. And it wasn't entirely his fault. It was the fault of the Eagles because you can't trust the Eagles with anything. I mean, hell, look at EDP. <laughs> we done spotted this man in Oklahoma. This is why you can't trust anything Eagles related. <laughs> you know? And the Seahawks, apparently they had some issues with Russell Wilson in the offseason. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Um, but they have a new offensive coordinator, though. Yeah, because, I mean, the Seahawks, they had some, there were some times last year where the Seahawks play calling was just not up to par, and I was sitting here wondering. I was like, what is the, what are they doing? And so I watched, I watched several Seahawks games last year, and some of these play calls were just baffling. And, of course, you know, Russell Wilson had to do everything by himself because the old line was just not there. You know, it hadn't had been there for years and years now, so... I'm hoping the Seahawks can, you know, improve some things on the offensive line. But those Jets and the Carolina Panthers, um, I don't know. Zach Wilson's out there for the Jets. What 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 can you really say about that? I mean, he's probably gonna get 
feds to wolves out there. This one's a tricky one because both these teams are really in the same realm of kind of rebuilding. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it feels like McCaffrey's getting wasted out there in Carolina. I mean, Mans is just doing whatever he can out there. It feels like those Larry Fitzgerald years at Arizona where he was just the only guy there, the only consistent guy there, but, you know, Arizona could never really do too much except for that one Super Bowl, you know. And, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just wondering, how, how will this game go, you know? Um, how about the Vikings and the Bengals? See, this is why I don't talk about a lot of these games. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because the Vikings... Vikings kind of... They're, they're kind of weird me out, too. Because I don't, I don't know really much of what they've been doing this offseason. And then, you know, Joe Burrow is coming off that injury. That really, really terrible injury. I mean, did the, did the Bengals upgrade their O-line? No. I, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to watch this. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. But if y'all are Bengals fans out there, did y'all upgrade the online? Because I thought, I thought in draft that you did. But then again, I don't think, I don't think they got an offensive lineman in the draft. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, and I guess Patrick Peterson's a Viking now. How? And I did not pay attention to free agency at all. I did not pay too much attention to free agency at all. How about the Cliff Kingsbury experiments out in Arizona? Taking on those Titans, you know, Derrick Henry, who's he going to stiff arm to the Shadow Realm this year? I don't know yet. I'm excited for that. Because, I mean, I mean, this Tennessee team is still kind of, it looks like this Tennessee team could just take the AFC South. Because, I mean, Jacksonville's not good. Houston is a disaster. And Indianapolis is going through all sorts of different problems at quarterback right now. So, you know. Titans returned a lot of guys too, so I'm, I'm thinking that they'll win the AFC South. Of course, I could be wrong. This is why I don't really make predictions like that. You see how bad my college football predictions were with that preseason top 25. So uh, I'm not making predictions. I'm not doing that. Not for the NFL. But this one might be back and forth. I might actually watch this game though. I don't think it's on my radar. Uh, but San Francisco, Detroit, not on my radar either. Um, yeah. How about it? How about it? Jared Goff is now a Detroit Lion. Uh, I'm not really buying Jared Goff as a Detroit Lion. And hopefully the 49ers don't be injured all year long either. I don't want these guys to have another injury riddled season. I'd like 49ers to actually have a season where they don't get injured. And, I, and again, the quarterback situation there with the 49ers, again, a lot of these storylines lines are re revolving around quarterbacks for some reason like Trey Lance he only played what 13 games in no he didn't play 13 my bad he played 18 games in college I think it was like 18 games I think because there was that one game against Central Arkansas and then he took you know North Dakota State to the FCS championship won the FCS championship against James Madison with Ben DiNucci who got cut from the Cowboys yeah that, that was pretty funny um and, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Jimmy G's apparently unhappy or something like that. At least that's what I've learned. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The 49ers just... Well, just hope, I'll just hope that the 49ers don't get injured like to hell this year. I'm not really hoping that. You know Goff's familiar with the 49ers because he was an L.A. Ram for quite a while. This one I am excited for, though. Pittsburgh, Buffalo. Oh boy. Big Ben. Is it time? Is it time for Big Ben to hang it up? He probably should have hanged it up, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe two years ago he should have hung up those cleats, but no. No. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering, how will this team do? This Pittsburgh team do? Will they, will they you know, completely you know, look like the Pittsburgh teams of old, or, you know, will they be something new? And the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Bills got to keep that momentum going, let me tell you. They got to keep that momentum going from last year, man. What a great year the Bills had last year, and I'm going to be watching, a, I'm hoping that I'm going to be watching a lot of their games this year. Same thing with the Steelers. 
I mean, this one, this one is going to be one hell of a fight. This one's going to be one hell of a fight. Just a good precursor to the afternoon ahead, you know. And then the other game that I think I'll be watching because this is going to be hilarious. Oh, the Eagles and the Falcons. It's going to be hilarious because the Falcons don't seem to want to change things. But I mean, it's the Falcons. It feels like Matt Ryan, you know has been there forever and things just haven't gone well for Atlanta. I mean, they looked bad last year. They choked so many times. And the preseason, I watched preseason highlights and they did not look good in the preseason. Of course, these were just, you know, most of these guys were practice squad players, but Atlanta didn't look too good in the preseason either. And how is everything going to gel together? And the Eagles, same thing with them. Um, how will Jalen Hurts do now that he's basically the starter now? I was never particularly high on Jalen Hurts, but that changed a little bit last year, just a little, you know, because, I mean, Carson Wentz was just absolutely not doing it for the Eagles last year, not doing it for him, and, you know, Hurts came in and gave the Eagles a little bit of a spark late, but, I mean, it I don't know how will he do with you know and both these teams have new head coaches like how, how in the world are they how in the world are these two teams going to do this is really a weird one to talk about I think I think I'm gonna you know actually watch this game though this is gonna be very interesting to see how these two teams match up how will things change with the Eagles offense how will ch things change with defense as well you know got up well of course I mean Eagles are a rival of Dallas Cowboys, so of course you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and watch it anyway and see how bad Atlanta is, see how much of a train wreck um, this Atlanta team is. And right now the line says three and a half points in favor of the Falcons. Ooh, or maybe actually might be in the favor of the Eagles. Uh, I don't know. Um, Broncos Giants, another game that is. A thing that exists. We're talking about the 425 games now. Um, Teddy Bridgewater is the Broncos quarterback. How? How? How in the world is this? How in the world is this thing? What happened to the tall white quarterback that John Elway wanted? What happened? I mean, I feel like so many quarterbacks have been cycled out of Denver since, you know, they won the Super Bowl with Peyton. Couple years back, and it feels like it. It feels like it's been forever for them as well since they've been to the playoffs. The Broncos. I don't know how. I really don't know how, man. Will Saquon stay healthy? Will Daniel Jones continue to channel his inner Eli Manning? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm watching this one. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, because there's another one. There's another. There's another two games here that look. Even more interesting. Whew. Oof, the Browns. Oh, the Browns. Baker Mayfield versus Patrick Mahomes. Oh, it's going to be one lovely matchup, man. Man. The Browns have improved so much. It looks like they got things together. And the Chiefs, same thing. You know, they're still kicking even after the loss in the Super Bowl. So you know things is going to be. You know this is going to be one hell of a matchup in week number one. Boy, ratings gonna be good. I mean, we all gonna be eating good after this game. Let me tell you, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. Let me tell you, man. I'm ready. I am ready for this matchup, man. I am ready for this matchup. This matchup got relocated thanks to the hurricane. So now we're going to Jacksonville. We're going to Duval, the home of AEW. It's for the Packers and the Saints. And again, Aaron Rodgers, you know, was in a whole mess of things in the offseason. I don't know how in the world, I really don't know how in the world, you know, this Packers offense could do. I mean, it looks like they got everybody back and they got a couple extra pieces as well. And they've lost a couple guys too, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. You know, Packers seem like this same Packers team in the past, but I mean, who knows? Who really knows? Because I mean, there was that whole drama with Aaron Rodgers. How would that affect this Packers team? I don't know. And New Orleans is in a new era with Jameis Winston. So will we see that 30 for 30 special? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, I will, I will New Orleans adjust. I mean, do they, do they do the same thing they've done over the past couple of years with Taysom Hill? You know, sneak him into the offense with at every position possible. You know, on some plays, and you know, have Jameis, you know, be a turnover factory or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Or Jameis could throw for thirty touchdowns again too. That that be that be cool too. You know, I'm hoping he learned a little bit. You know, because it felt like you know felt like Jameis was never going to get it right because I mean I mean come on come on can you can you really can you really you know top a 30 for 30 type deal 30 touchdowns and 30 interceptions no you can't you can't top that you can't well, I'm wondering did, did Jameis learn something did, did the Saints team learn something even with the hurricane did this Saints team learn you know how to get over the hump how did they how did they get over the hump because they got they got pretty much whooped out there last time we saw them against Tampa Bay you know how about those Dolphins and the Patriots no Cam Newton on the Patriots anymore so it's Mac Jones and Tua Alabama type matchup mm. and Nick Saban's playing against you know you know you know Rather Nick Saban's former team. I mean, you know, remember he was the former coach of the Miami Dolphins. Why am I even talking about Nick Saban? Why does this article have anything? To, you know what? Forget about it. Forget about the article. What will the Patriots do? What will the Patriots do this year? I mean, I, I genuinely don't know. This team is a mystery to me, and the Dolphins are a mystery as well because, I mean, again, this was a team. Didn't they win 10 games and miss the playoffs? I swear this was a team that missed the playoffs. Thanks, Washington. Um, yeah, I would love to see this team in the playoffs. I think they can run it back and maybe actually go to the playoffs this time. I mean, I don't know. Because, I mean, the AFC, again, like I said earlier, the AFC is wide open. Very wide open. And, you know, the Dolphins, the Dolphins are looking kind of looking kind of hungry. And I think this matchup with New England will show us a lot. It will show us a lot because, I mean, man, look at all these Alabama guys in this game. And, and I mean, come on. Come on. How about Sunday night? Sunday night football on NBC. I can't sing songs, so shut up. Shut up. Shut up, me. Oh, man. Matt Stafford is an L.A. Ram thanks to that trade. And the Chicago Bears, just when, it, when are you going to put in Justin Fields? There's no, there's no way the Andy Dalton experience lasts very long. Just put in Justin Fields now. Put him in now so you can see failure. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I wonder how Sean McVay and the... Um, and the Rams will revitalize themselves this year with Stafford. I've always felt Stafford was an underrated guy. You know, you know. He, I mean, it felt like you know he, it was him and Megatron out there and nobody else. It, it's the same situation with Matt Ryan. It's the same situation with um, Carson Wentz in Philly. When he was in Philly, it's the, it's the it's the same type of thing. It's the same thing with Dan Marino. Same type of situation, you know. I want Matt Stafford to succeed. I feel like this guy should have had a ring by now. You know, there's a lot of guys that actually deserve a ring, but you know, we have to hear you know Tom Brady with this seventh ring, you know, start kissing his rings, you know. But I felt like Matt should have one. Matt. Stafford should definitely have one, and I think the Rams, you know, maybe they'll have a, maybe they'll have Matt Stafford for a little bit. Who knows how long? And you know, the Rams. I mean, again, this is a team that you know was also very, very interesting to watch last year. You know, this Rams defense is still tough. Bears, I'm still kind of I'm still kind of confused over because I mean, again, this is the Bears we're talking about here, and they just. They were not a playoff team. They were not a playoff team. They did not deserve to go to the playoffs, and that really showed the downside of the Super Wild Card um, weekend. That really showed a downside to that. 
So yeah, um, and again, you know, the Bears, they have to improve this year. If they don't improve this year, I'm, I'm going to be really, 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 really sad. Because, I mean, we've seen some Bears teams dominate, but this, this century they haven't really done too much. I mean, you know, or at least this decade. No, wait, this decade just started. I'm talking about the 2010. No, wait, that doesn't really apply either. You know what? I will shut up now because I just don't, I don't have the memory for all this, all right? God. And Monday night, the last game of the week will be the Ravens and the Raiders of Las Vegas. And again, this is this is also pretty much the same thing we've seen over the past few years. How will John Gruden get these Raiders, these Gruden grinders? How will he, how will he get these Raiders, um, these Raiders up to speed? Because it feels like this team should have made the playoffs a couple times, but they just haven't. They have not. They have completely choked it away. Choked harder than the Atlanta Falcons, and especially um, there was a game late last year where the Fal I mean, where the Raiders, not the Falcons, the Raiders just completely choked the game away and just messed everything up. So, and the Ravens, on the other hand, Ravens are just trying to get back to the playoffs. I mean, it's fairly simple. I think this team can just go back instantly. I mean, it all hinges on that running game, you know, not just Lamar Jackson. I mean, of course, you know, Lamar kind of, he didn't really do too much in the passing game last year. Didn't feel like he did too much, but I mean, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. That's all I got to say, in all honesty, about this week number one in DFL. And I'll wrap this up by saying, Saying I do have a couple of things planned for you know coming down the line. I do have a couple of collaborations. Yes, collaborations coming. I don't know when they will come, and you know people have you know some people in the comment section have asked me to do it, or rather, and people in other places, you know, on Discord and stuff like that have asked me to do a collab. I was initially not that type of person in the past because I know a guy um, who I don't know what happened to his channel but Citizen Arcane I had asked him or rather he'd asked me in the past it was 2020 and I think I was yeah I don't think I was very well I was very very sick in 2020 so of course you know me being a, me being a diabetic now uh, I was not feeling doing a podcast or rather not a podcast a collaboration of any kind in 2020 I needed to get back healthy or at, a, at least back in good enough health to where I can you know make videos like this again and just you know speak my mind but now I'm open to doing that and hopefully again you guys will see some of these down the line I don't know when all this stuff will happen because again things are very flexible in fact right now it is 1040 I just got off of work not even 30 minutes ago that again my job is very, very flexible because I call people all around the country. I probably called you, you know, I probably called you and you probably either said, fuck you, get off my phone, or, you know, sent it straight to voicemail or answered and I said hi or something along the lines on the stupid script and you said hi and then I don't want to do this, goodbye, I hung up the phone, what about your day? and stuff like that. That's the literal description of my chum of three things that probably will happen if you ever get a call from me about political surveys or you know stuff like that. So there you go. <laughs> Another explanation of my job. <laughs> and it does not stop there. Um, so this video will be, um, it won't be out at no 10, 11 o'clock at night. It will be premiering you know like a good chunk of videos have been doing lately and I really like doing that you know to give 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 it a little time to marinate instead and yeah yeah that's pretty much all I gotta say because this is a 30 minute video and why not um, so if you're watching after you know just go ahead um, get to the chapter things you know that I do in the comment section of videos blah 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 and again like share comment subscribe click the notification bell try to donate to my co-fi 
even though nobody's probably going to use that probably haven't even seen it and I'll see you again Saturday night or Sunday morning more college football stuff peace